Hello, friends. God bless you. Thank you for joining us. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Oh, John's Gospel, chapter 7, verse 37. On the last and greatest day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried out, If anyone is thirsty, let him come to me and drink. Today, let's take a moment and look at what it means when Jesus said, Let him come to me and drink. Jesus is the only one who can satisfy the thirst of our soul. You will find fulfillment in him alone. Life in the Spirit is not merely a choice. It is a necessity. We desperately need the flow of the river of God in our life. The Holy Spirit was sent from the Father and the Son to help us with our sojourn through this life. He's the helper. And Jesus is the one who pours into our lives this blessing of his Spirit. So we must come to Jesus and come thirsty to receive the help of his Spirit. We must come to the source of the water. And if we recognize some things, it will help us to receive from him. He said, let him come to me and drink. Let him come to me. He's the only one who can release this river into our life. In fact, John the baptizer said it. He said, I indeed baptize you with water to repentance, but he who's coming after me is mightier than I, whose shoes I'm not worthy to carry. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. So he wants to pour his spirit his blessing of the Holy Spirit into our lives. But why is it that he's the baptizer with the Holy Spirit? Why is it that he alone is the one who can release this river of life and cause it to flow through us? It's because he is the one who died for us. He is the rock that was smitten from which the refreshing water of God's Spirit flows forth. Jesus said, let him come to me and drink. Take your thirst to Christ. You won't find fulfillment in all the other things to which people generally turn. It's not even in religion. It's in Christ, in Christ alone. Jesus gives the Spirit in Jesus alone. Let me finish our time together today by saying this. You can't make it through this life and find satisfaction the satisfaction that God so desires for you to have on your own. You see, this life is a journey. Today, there are all kinds of transportation. There's rail, auto, airplanes, and waterways, and on and on you could go with it, I guess. Now, in uh, early in our country, the rivers played a significant part. Spiritually, That's God's plan of mode of travel for you through this life, to ride the river. That's why you need to discover the ways to let the river flow in your life and ride the river of God's blessings. If anyone is thirsty, let him come to me and drink. He who believes in me, as the scripture has said, out of his heart shall flow rivers of living water. Gracious Father, Loving Jesus, release the river of your spirit in the lives of your children. We ask in Jesus' name, amen. Now may the Lord bless you and keep you. Amen.